Welcome to Farm RPG. Bellogan here. Today we're going to start a fresh account and show some tips for new players on how to get going and how to improve your play experience in your first uh, couple of hours and days in the game. So we're starting with a fresh account here. I'm just giving a name Dope Start Farmer. You don't have to put in a password or you do need a password. You don't have to put in an email. So we'll just put in uh, something here and uh, we're going to log in. I don't need to save that password. I know it pretty well. So when we start off, we've got a couple perks available um, that we can pick and we're level one in everything. We've got 500 silver. So really quick in the perks, what I want to come do is look at the negotiator perks. These are the ones I want to focus on first because they increase my silver selling price of everything. I need five points before I can get any of these. Can't do it yet. So I am going to hold on to those. Another thing I can do is come look in the museum. You can get there by going to home. Um, and actually, even before I can do that, I need to start a farm. So let's uh, give ourselves a farm here, give it a name, call the dope farm. Because why not? All right, click down, go to museum. And if I look at view achievements, there's all kinds of things I can do in here to get uh, gold rewards. Some of these I'm going to be able to do pretty quick. Some of them I won't be able to. So vote in a poll. That's something I can do right away. Get an extra hundred silver. Craft something. We'll get there uh, a ways off. Um, we don't have a crafting table yet. It takes a little bit to build. Um, don't be shy. Say something in chat. So let's talk in chat. All right, uh, correct my spelling, make this a question mark. I'm usually good for about two typos per word. And with that, we should unlock an achievement for saying something in chat, an extra 100 silver. That is absolutely fabulous. All right, another thing I wanna do, the very first thing, and normally I wouldn't recommend doing these, but we're gonna come hire charters because there's an achievement for doing so. So we're gonna hire a fishing charter and I'm only gonna do it Small ponds in any location. I'm only going to do this for one hour. And use one gold. And immediately, uh, there's an achievement for hiring a charter that you get 10 free gold with. So I've gotten that. And there is another one for an expedition. So we're going to do one as a one hour expedition. And I've gotten that. And that gives me my first uh, couple sets of gold before we have to do anything. So farm supply. I can come in here and with 28 gold, there's quite a few things I can unlock. Um, the first one I'm going to recommend is this fertilizer one, sell everything for 10% more silver. That's really important. After that, I would probably recommend the banker options and the irrigation system options that make things grow faster and give you more interest in the bank. Um, interest in the bank will be more important later on, but it is huge and irrigation will make your crops go faster. That's great. Next thing we need to do is just start farming. So on my farm, I believe I've got eight pot plots. So we'll buy for 72 silver, some pepper seeds here. We're going to come pop these in to my farm and I do not have the, uh, perk that you can buy in the farm supply store that gives you a plant all button, but there is one. Hey, I got 50 silver. So these are going to grow rel relatively quickly within a minute. Yeah, no one's giving me any great tips. Come on, guys, be better examples than that. All right, so there's two separate things I can do now. Go fishing and go exploring. I don't have any bait yet to go fishing, but exploring I want to do right away. I've got 50 stamina. I can increase that later on. And I'm just going to start exploring and see what I can find in here to start increasing my exploring levels. Sometimes people are nice and will mail you things to make this go a little bit faster. All right, we got one exploring level there. We have a steak market in the game where you can buy steak and its price changes daily and sell just like stocks and encourages people to talk about real stocks. All right, so we got our exploring up to level two. If I look at my inventory, I found some nails, some wood, some stone, some mushrooms. Um, if I go to town, I might be able to sell some of those off. Um, but I have grown all my peppers. So I'm going to come back here, go to town, farmer's market, and let's just sell everything here we can. Make a little bit of profit on those peppers. And then we're going to go back to the farmer market. 
uh, not the farmer market, the country store. <laughs> um, let's buy 16 pepper seeds. So I'm going to have roughly a minute to do stuff between, and let's go ahead and buy some bait. Bait is three silver each. Let's just buy 50 bait. And let me do a fair amount of fishing. Say, okay. Um, come back to my farm and I'm going to start planting these pepper seeds. And you're going to have a minute for these to grow while we can go and do other things. I don't have any stamina left for exploring. So now's when you're going to come do your fishing. Now fishing, um, I have a whole video on this, but it might seem kind of painful at first to do to get these levels up. But um, the silver is really important that we're going to make early on. But also the fishing levels are important because we're going to need those perk points for our ability to increase the sell price of everything that we have. So I'm going to come catch just a few fish here and we'll see what we can get for sale on these guys. I do not have my window by any means optimally set up for catching fish. Normally I'd make this a lot smaller, so I'm not moving my mouse around a ton or do this on a phone. That's all right. Let's catch three more. Let's use up um, some of our bait. And we'll do one more here. There is rewards for getting a streak of a thousand, so keep working on that, and it'll come along eventually and give you a nice reward. All right, my peppers are ready, so we're going to pick these, plant these, and this process I'm going to basically rinse and repeat until I get enough silver for my workshop. Um, additionally, growing more crops is really important. So we come back to town and farmer's market and we can sell everything here. All my fish and my peppers and my drums. Actually, let me check one thing before we do that perks. I've got more perk points here. So I've got eight. Um, we're going to come pick this negotiator here perk initially. So we get 5% more silver on everything that I can sell. Now we're going to sell all this. Now the, the perk won't show a difference in price here, but when you actually sell it, you'll see it. All right. 217 silver. So that was um, kind of my first bout in doing a little bit of exploring and a little bit of farming. And basically what you're going to do at this point is just rotate between going to your farm and growing these peppers. Um, once your farming level comes up, you can buy crops that take a little bit longer. It's going to give you a little more time. And then spend some time fishing to start unlocking better fishing areas and also unlocking your perks. Now, once you get enough silver that you can start crafting, you'll see a and it's 1500 to buy that. You'll see a, an option here to go to your workshop um, from the home menu. And someone put something in my mailbox. Ah, some mushrooms. Thank you, people. Um, but you're going to rotate between farming and then fishing and exploring. And then when you get your workshop, what you can do is use some of your inventory items. And predominantly, it's going to be your stone. If I click on this, um, iron rings and iron cups are two things you can craft relatively early. I think you need a crafting level four for rings, but you can craft iron cups at level one. Now you notice the price on these is 165 silver that they sell for. You're gonna have to buy three iron to make each of these from the store that are 50 silver. Um, with the crafting cost means you're only actually gonna just break even initially on these iron cups. But because we got that negotiator perk and the irrigation, they gave us a 15% bonus on all of our silving price. We actually will still make a little bit of bonus. We also get 100 experience for every single one of these that we craft. So you're going to start off and just start crafting your iron cups until you can craft better items on that. Um, eventually, you'll be able to use this wood to make boards. And you can use boards to make planks. And you can use planks to make um, wooden buckets initially are really good to make because they on, um, only take boards. They don't even take a plank. Um, and then shields later on use a plank and those are pretty good profit as well. So your normal wooden shield, you need crafting level 14 to get, they sell for 500 worth a decent amount of experience. Um, when you get even higher level, uh, at 20, then you can start doing sturdy shields and those, those, uh, start making some pretty crazy profits. All right. I'm seeing more stuff come in my mailbox. Let's check and see what we got here. A bunch of acorns. All right. You know, what acorns are good for, they're good for one thing. They are good for selling so let's come sell all of our peppers mushrooms and acorns here how are we doing on silver we got 300 and something silver on that all right we're up to 1700 
So I need to buy more seeds. I've got carrots now unlocked. So I'm going to buy, let's buy 16 carrots. And we're going to come plot these. Now common questions are which thing should I build first as they unlock? So as you increase your farming and exploration levels and fishing levels, um, there's going to be some new things you can build here. Um, the nice thing is any silver that you spend on growing these things I, is going to directly account towards farming experience. So when I add my workshop, that's going to give me 1,500 experience. When I add my next row of crops, that is going to give me uh, 1,000 silver uh, experience. And if I look at my farm level here, it gives me a nice chart of how much experience you need. So adding on those 2,000 something experience is going to bump you up pretty quick to level three, level four. And then the more expensive upgrades later on are going to do even better than that. All right. So I think that's pretty much it. So that's my, my major tips. If I kind of recap chat, say hi to everyone, hire a one hour charter, and then probably never do those again. Never spend gold on them again. Use your perks to get the irrigation perk to sell your silver more or for a higher silver selling price, not your perk points, but your gold at the farm supply. And then use your perks to start unlocking these negotiator points. Once you have that done, go explore, use up your stamina. This is gonna recharge at a rate of one stamina every other minute. And then in your downtime between that and crops growing, do some fishing and work on your fishing levels. Eventually you're gonna have more time uh, where you get crops that take several hours or all day to grow takes just a little bit to get there. That's fine. Initially, there's a lot to do to, to build up some of your, your starting levels. So that's it. That's my uh, quick guide on how to get started and your first couple of steps um, and a couple tips to get you going. Hopefully that's helpful. Thanks for watching.